Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing everything I've picked up so far during quarantine. I have some beauty, some fashion, a couple miscellaneous items. The retailers are coming for our necks right now with all of these crazy sales. No sign of them letting up, might I add. I've done my best to be responsible while taking advantage because of course we are all at home, we're all online, and it's easy to get sucked into some online shopping. So I'm going to share my damage. Most everything here I've purchased myself. I have been sent a couple things lately in PR. So I wanna quickly show you the things that have been sent over. All of the jewelry that you see me wearing today was sent over by Italo Jewelry. I picked out three beautiful pieces from their website. So I have this gorgeous double stack ring, the beautiful earrings and necklace. Everything is made of white sapphires set in sterling silver, and the pieces are gorgeous. I love everything, but especially these earrings, I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of them. And it looks like this could be a three-piece set. It's gorgeous. Everything arrived packaged beautifully in these high-quality boxes. When you open them up, it includes a jewelry care guide, a certification card, polishing cloth, and information on their one-year warranty. I really like how they include the little mesh drawstring bag for travel in case you don't want to take the entire box with you. You can still protect your jewelry. They give the appearance of fine jewelry, but they're a fraction of the cost. They're so sparkly. The clasps are all high quality, easy to put on. This ring is so special because they offer small sizes. So this is a size four and it fits me perfectly. I've never been able to wear rings because nothing ever fits my small fingers. Even my engagement ring and wedding band were such a hassle to get sized, but this ring fits me perfectly. So now I know that I do have a place where I can shop for rings. If you're looking for birthday gifts, a Mother's Day gift, something really special for a loved one, Italo Jewelry has something for them. When you visit their website, they have pages upon pages of beautiful styles. It was really difficult to make my selection, but I'm so happy with my pieces. I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of them. And Italo Jewelry was so generous. They partnered with me to offer you guys a discount code for 20% off. So all of the information and their website will be linked down below in the description box. The next thing that was sent over is from House of Siage. They were so kind, they sent me one of their mystery vaults. This is the True Princess mystery vault. And if you can believe it, this has been sitting here for probably over a week now, but I wanted to wait and open it up with you guys. House of Siage still has a couple of their mystery vaults left available only on their website. And the True Princess is only one style. There's a limited supply of each vault. I know some of them might be sold out already. The best part about them is that it's a value set. So you actually get way more than what you pay for. Probably one of the only times that will happen. So let me begin by unboxing the full size fragrance. Of course, this caught my eye first. Oh, let's see. So on the bottom, it tells you this is the Tiara fragrance from their signature collection. Ooh, so beautiful. They always do such a great job. Attention to every detail. And here is the cupcake. Oh, the colors are stunning. I love this gorgeous blue. First impression, let's spray it. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. It is so feminine and floral. I can see why it's called Tiara. Beautiful. Oh, I cannot wait to read more about this fragrance. I wanna know what all of the notes are inside. But I have a couple other things in my box, so I wanna go ahead and open those up. I think this is a lipstick case. This is a great little box of goodies, wow. Ooh, I'm excited. What color do you think it is? Let's see. Ooh, I wasn't sure. It's beautiful. It's this gorgeous lilac. I think this is the color of the season. Oh, that is so pretty. Gorgeous. I cannot wait to put one of my House of Siage lipsticks in there. And then the next little package inside comes with a lipstick, that makes sense. 
This is Princess, of course, because it's the Princess Vault. And then this I am not familiar with. It's called The Trend by House of Siage Number no. 3 Perfume Travel Spray. But even the exterior packaging is so beautiful. I love this box, the gorgeous design. And then this is the little travel spray. So pretty. Let's try this one. Oh, that's beautiful. I can definitely see taking this in a travel bag, throwing in my purse, just taking it with me everywhere. Mm. It smells so nice. It's a light floral. It feels like a beautiful daily wear fragrance. So just to recap all of that, you get a full-size fragrance, Tiara. You get the gorgeous lilac bow lipstick case, princess lipstick, and you get this really beautiful travel spray, a trend number three, and the refill that goes with it. I had to look this up on the website, so it has a value of $682, but right now it's only $339. House of Siage, the mystery vaults. And it looks like there are a couple that are sold out, but there are some that are still available, and right now they're offering free shipping. Now, everything else I purchased myself. And the first package that arrived was from Nordstrom when they were holding their 25% off deal. And the shipping took forever. And I think they must be on the ball now because I ordered something else from Saks a couple days ago and it arrived this afternoon. So Saks has been on the ball. Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom, wow, that was a waiting game, that's for sure. But it's here, so I can't complain any longer. The first thing I picked up was this Oribe Bright Blonde Shampoo for Beautiful Color. This is their purple shampoo, and I just figured why not get it while it's drastically reduced. I want to say this was on sale for $35, which is not bad for the 8.5 fluid ounce bottle. It's formulated without parabens, sulfate, sodium chloride, and this is going to help remove any brassiness from my hair. Right now I'm using the Pravana purple shampoo and I really do like it. I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit drying. I try to regularly do hair masks as well, but I thought maybe this would do the same thing for my color but not be quite as drying, so I'm open to trying it out, especially since I saved 25% off. I always like to focus on the savings. That's what's important. It's not how much you spend, it's how much you save. Are you with me? <laughs> the other thing I picked up is this Delina hand cream from Parfum de Marly. We've been washing our hands nonstop, of course, so our hands have been dry and I figured this is kind of the cutest little pick-me-up. You know, something that was such a treat that I would ordinarily not purchase for myself. Parfum de Marly has been so generous with me and they actually sent me a nice little gift box with a couple goodies and they included the Delina hand cream. So I'll probably hold on to this or maybe gift it to my mom for Mother's Day, something like that. When I first took it out of the box, I was a little disappointed in the size because it looks so small, but I opened it up anyway just to try it and the scent is intoxicating. It is so beautiful and it lingered for hours from a hand cream. I did not expect that. I even took a shower later on and I could still smell Delina on my hand. So it's a little bit pricey for a hand cream, but just the best little luxury. And during this time, it's kind of nice to have little things like this to just boost our mood, and it did. I, the smell was so overpowering for hand cream, I immediately felt happier. The next thing I picked up was from Ulta during their 21 days of beauty. It's 21, right? I don't usually find anything that's that great. I always look, whenever they announce their deals, I love how they show you kind of the calendar so you can plot out which days you have to hit the store or be online as soon as possible. Every once in a while, there are a couple things. Everything's a great deal, of course, but nothing that I really feel like, ooh, okay, I have to get this now or else it's gonna disappear and it'll never go on sale again. But this caught my eye. This is Shape Tape from Tarte. Been around forever, people swear by it. Some people don't like it, but I've just heard so much, so many opinions one way or another that I figured I had to pick it up. I think this was $13, so a really great price point. And I'm open to trying new concealers. I went with 12B, Fair Beige. 
I have not opened this up yet, so I am very interested to see what it's like. I've heard, wow, that's huge. I did not expect that. How much product is in there? 10 milliliters, wow. I think this might be the biggest concealer tube I own. It's huge. This is right up there with the Dior, I would imagine. I'm excited to compare them. I've heard from some of you guys who say it's too drying for you, but then I hear from other people who say it's amazing, it's their holy grail, and I still hear people talking about it constantly. It was about time. Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, they got me. That was all I needed to be pushed over the edge, and now I'm gonna try it out. This next little purchase is like the hand cream. It's something so small, but it just boosts your mood and makes you so happy. This makes me overjoyed, and I knew I was going to purchase it as soon as I found out that it was even going to be in existence. This came today. This is the Rouge G lipstick case from Guerlain in the shade Quartz Illusion. I have the Stunning Queen lipstick case. That's the all clear crystal. It looks like it could be made of diamonds if it wasn't 30 bucks. <laughs> and then this one is the pink version. <gasps> so pretty. Ugh. And of course, Saks is having 15% off. This sold out very fast. The last time I checked, there were two shades available. They came out with a pink, a topaz, a lavender, a black, which I almost ordered, but it was very difficult to tell from the photo if it was going to be super matte black or if it was reflective and shiny. So I ended up skipping it and I figured, you know what, two crystal cases is a lot. <laughs> That's already one more case than I really need. So I just stuck with the pink. I didn't even have to think twice about it. As soon as it was available, I went ahead and added this to cart. And it makes me happy. It reminds me of spring and I look at this and I sort of forget about everything else that's going on. So well worth the money. This next purchase is from Neiman Marcus and it is my biggest purchase from quarantine so far. And it's not huge, but it was definitely an impulse buy and just something that I really wanted to do to lift my mood. So I'm going to show you the box. This really pretty Sophia Webster box. This is from when Neiman Marcus was having their 25% off. I don't know which retailer was first, but they sort of started the fire and then everybody else jumped on board and they were offering crazy discounts. And even now I think there's friends and family at Saks. Nordstrom was holding a 15% off. Now I think it's gone away, but Neiman Marcus has triple points and they have like a $50 off, $100 off, etc. <sighs> the Sephora sale has been announced. I feel like there are just too many sales going on to keep track of. I've just started deleting all of my emails. As soon as I get something in the inbox, I just go ahead and delete it. But this purchase was made early on, so that was before I regained my self-control. The shoes come with this really pretty little dust bag that I will hold on to. They're pretty bright and funky, but for Sophia Webster, I think they're actually quite classic and sort of simple. If you're not familiar with Sophia Webster, her main design is the butterfly. So she creates these outrageous heels, these stilettos and platforms with butterfly wings and they are so beautiful. I know some people will look at them and think they're hideous or so strange, just not practical, but they're so artistic, they're so creative, and some of her designs, they're stunning. I'm sorry, I love them. I think they're so whimsical and fun. I love the personality in all of her pieces is really wonderful. So when I saw these online, I immediately thought of Easter, which is, this weekend and it's so sad because of course spring is not canceled and Easter is not canceled but all of our plans that we've been making are basically canceled you know I doubt many people will be gathering hopefully they aren't gathering they make me so happy but it does make me sad to think that Easter is coming and we're probably not going to end up doing anything but that's okay, as soon as everything opens back up and we're allowed to leave our house and gather, I'm going to plan a huge brunch and I'll be wearing these shoes. Here's the other side. 
As you can see, they have this rainbow raffia, sort of natural texture design on the platform heel, which I thought was really pretty. And then it has a little T-strap. And then this part right here is just plain white. So as much as they are colorful, I think they go with a lot of different things. I could wear this with denim, like a denim dress, of course white. Any of the colors in here I think would be a nice match. The soles are a really pretty lilac color. I think that's a really nice match for my new bow lipstick case. But they're beautiful, they're so much fun, they're so happy. And this is a new style, but they were on sale for 25% off, so I thought that was a really great deal. I didn't have to wait until they were marked down, marked down. All of the sizes were available. I'm always on the lookout. Whenever Sophia Webster goes on sale, I have to just scan. I just like to scroll and see what's there. I think there were a couple pairs of the butterfly heels, but they were still too expensive. They were more than I wanted to spend, so I think these were maybe $3.50 originally, and I had a discount on top of a discount, so I think I maybe saved $100, something like that. So in my mind, it was worth it. Still a bit of a splurge, but oh, I just needed something to lift my mood. After the shoes, I told myself that I was done, I was cut off, but then one of my all-time favorite brands ran a huge 25% off sale sale so it wasn't just 25% off it was 25% off everything so I didn't delete the email I opened I, I peeked and then before I knew it I was just adding things to cart because it was such a great deal and again it just made me happy to pick up some things that remind me of summer and vacation and better times so this box came a little while ago this is from Farm Rio they're a Brazilian brand and they always do things to give back. So one purchase equals one tree. For every purchase made, they donate a tree to be planted by one tree planted in the Amazon rainforest. So I love their brand. I love their patterns, their colors. Everything that they create is beautiful. I could just shop all of their styles. And they're huge in Brazil. And they're starting to gain some traction here in the States. I know in Miami, we have a lot of Brazilians who live here, so they're really popular, but they even have a store in the Aventura Mall now, which is amazing because now we don't have to just shop online. You can go in the store and try everything on. Their pieces are all so unique and high quality. It's a lot of resort wear, vacation wear. So if you're going on a trip somewhere, of course, if you live in Florida, this is kind of like Monday through Friday or at least weekend wear. But if you don't live by the beach, these are great pieces for whenever you're traveling somewhere tropical, maybe you're taking a trip. So stunning. So the first thing I picked up was this beautiful sarong. And it's double-sided. I didn't realize it was reversible. So you have this side right here. Really pretty fringe down at the bottom. So I love this pink palm pattern. And then on the other side, it's this blue pineapple really pretty so it's a giant triangle of fabric with the fringe at the bottom and this was just such a great price i think it's so well made it's beautiful this is just going to be gorgeous for summer and then i couldn't help myself because they were on sale and then marked down an additional 25 percent off so i picked up a couple swimsuits both of these are bikinis they're such great quality and i haven't shopped for swimwear from farm rio before i've purchased skirts and I think I have a dress. And those pieces are amazing. So I wasn't sure what to expect, but I think this is a really beautiful pattern. This is, I believe, the pineapple print. So it goes perfectly with the little sarong. Really nice. This is a really pretty top. And then they're Brazilian, so of course you know the bottoms are going to be a little bit cheeky. And then I have this toucan print, little top. And then this is a high-waisted bottom, which I thought was really cute. The high waist is still very popular. So I'm excited. Those were such a great deal. I can't even tell you. And it's not that Farm Rio is crazy expensive. They're not. For what they are, I think it's pretty reasonable, but I always check the sale section. If you're going to be planning any sort of trip or vacation as soon as the quarantine is lifted, 
Maybe it'll be in a couple months, but I highly recommend you check out Farm Rio because they also give back to their community. I think they're just such a great brand to support and they have beautiful pieces that you're not going to see everybody else wearing. I love, love, love their website. One of my favorites. Speaking of travel, I know we don't have any plans just yet, but I'm just sort of dreaming about taking a beach vacation, maybe a staycation, even just going down to the beach as soon as it opens or maybe driving to the Keys or Mar Marco Island, just putting something on the calendar, something to look forward to. But I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about it. Are you planning any trips? Are you going to be more cautious when the quarantine is lifted? I don't know, I talk to my husband about it every once in a while and we're just sort of not sure and I think most people are unsure of what this is going to be like, what it's going to look like when we can leave our houses again. But I don't know if any of you guys have any trips planned or if you plan on staying tight for a while. Drop me a comment, let me know where your head is because I'd love to get your insight and feedback as well. Next, we have arrived to the miscellaneous category. I, of course, had to do a little bit of damage on Amazon. I think the Amazon delivery people have been busier than ever. I know a lot of people are placing their orders. Since we've had to make adjustments, I've been trying my best to do at-home workouts. It's very difficult because, of course, when you're at home, you also have the TV and the couch, and I have a dog, and there are just too many distractions. It's very difficult to find the time to actually work out, but I've sort of turned our little balcony into my personal workout space. So I did place an order on a couple of things. I picked up these little sliders. There are so many cool exercises that you can do with these. It says, your choice, good life. They had a variety of colors. I of course chose pink. I'll list some of the home workouts that I've been watching down below in the description box in case anybody is curious. And if you guys have been watching any at-home workout videos, leave them down in the comment section. We can share all of our information with each other. So I think this was maybe $15 for the bundle. It was a really great deal. And you get four different bands. I think I've only used two of them, but they have different levels. So this is a medium. I think this one is the easy. And then you get two heavy bands, which is nice. Oh, extra heavy. So you get heavy and then extra heavy. There's one of each. I think I've probably only used the heavy, but they're really great. These I have incorporated into a couple of my workouts on the balcony, the balcony workouts, and they're great. I love them. I'm sort of addicted. Once I get a good system going and I'm more regular about doing my at-home workouts, I won't miss the gym as much now that I have a couple pieces of equipment. I don't think it takes a lot. I have a body bar. I think it's only 15 pounds. I have several yoga mats. Now that I have the sliders, the resistance bands, and this next item, I think I'm sort of good to go. I'm doing my best. So this I have not used yet. But I went ahead and I purchased a jump rope. I'm used to running on the treadmill and not having cardio has been driving me crazy. I've told you guys we take our bikes out on weekends, but during the week, I'm not gonna go out by myself. There are just too many drivers that are still on the road and drivers in Miami are crazy. So I don't feel safe going out on the bike by myself, but I still wanna do cardio. Now I have this handy jump rope, and I think this was only $15 as well. There are so many workouts you can do with any of these pieces, and if you're thinking to yourself, no, I don't really wanna invest in anything like that because I'll never use it, all you have to do is Google resistance band workouts, or even just type it into YouTube, I bet there will be millions of hits because for one thing, everybody's at home doing these workouts, but also there's just so much you can do. You'll never get bored. And none of these pieces take up a lot of space and you also don't need a lot of space. The only other thing I picked up was the brand new tinted moisturizer from Tom Ford. I ordered it from Saks two days ago. I believe it's already shipped, so it should be here very soon. When it arrives, I will definitely do a full review. And that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, your questions down below. I wanna hear from you guys. What have you been shopping for? What are the websites that you've been browsing? What websites should I be browsing? <laughs> Drop me a comment, we'll keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything today on my face down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.